yes everyone welcome back as you can see i'm still just like disgustingly ill at this point in time um don't know how i got this i think i got this watching the new batman film last week you know but i think what's mad is that in the cinema if i had like my face mask on the entire time i made sure that i was trying to keep as safe as possible too but uh you know i guess uh you know finally caught me in the end to be honest man um yeah i feel like i'm kind of sounding like batman at this point in time i'm sounding like someone that would say something like you know i am the shadows like <laughs> my god man but of course today with the uh, momentous news that came out with the news being that finally Roman Abramovich has been sanctioned by the UK government of course that's a muscle the energy to share my thoughts and opinions and break down and discuss the news in today's video I want to discuss what this means what the sanctions are gonna mean for the club and how it's gonna impact us and what the future holds as well too so I hope you guys definitely do enjoy I'm hoping man that I can get back to uh, so that's a full fitness uh, soon come to be honest uh, I hate being ill so much you don't understand especially when I feel like I caught the runners as well too because ain't seen no improvements at all man but regardless before I even get into the video I think one thing that I wanted to just really like bring up right now I think I'll bring it up a lot more especially when I'm better as well too was the fact that with this precarious situation the club's currently in at this point in time now it does feel like the perfect time right now to become a Chelsea pitch owner and buy shares. You know, I think currently there's between like 13 to 15,000 members, including people like Frank Lampard, Terry, etc, etc. And it feels like, you know, ultimately football clubs are about the fans. So we should safeguard our own club. You know, today I'm looking to buy shares myself. So in the description below, I'm going to have a link for you guys who are interested and who care about the club buy shares today man you know what i mean you know let's not let anything happen to our beautiful club so right now let's discuss the news today on chelsea's 117th birthday the uk government have finally sanctioned roman abramovich um, the government have been targeting kremlin linked oligarchs linked to putin and roman is sanctioned alongside many other you know uh, big name oligarchs including the heads of gazprom the chairman of vtb bank plus a lot more as well too. Now the reason behind why the government were able to impose these sanctions today was based on the fact that of course you know they've been saying Roman has ties to Putin and those ties were in uh, controlling stakes in Evras PLC which is um, potentially supplying steel to the Russian military as they're invading Ukraine in a very unlawful manner. So I guess at this point in time what does it mean to be sanctioned? What's going to happen to the club? What are the punishments we are facing at this point in time? Currently, the government has allowed a special dispensation to continue the operating costs at this football club. Um, of course, the reason behind this is that we are seen as a significant cultural asset. So long story short, it means that matches can still be played. It means that staff under the club can still be paid as well too. And of course, existing season ticket holders can still attend games as well. But I think right now, I just want to break down a list of all the meanings behind what this sanction means. And of course, one of the big ones is the fact that Roman now is actually barred from selling the football club. We've known for a while that he's been trying to create a bidding war to have investors quickly buy up the club from him. In the meantime, we know what Roman said beforehand. You know, he wants to um, forget the 1.5 bill debt over to him, um, you know, he was looking between the range of like 3 billion to 4 billion to sell the club. And I'd imagine that by earning that amount of money, that's going to write off the debts that the club owed to him. And of course, the profits received after that, of course, that would be donated straight to any like humanitarian causes in Ukraine. Um, so, of course, there were some noble things that Roman was looking to do. However, this is something I'll touch upon later on as this video does go on. Um, of course, going on to what this means for the club, um, contract renewals can't be offered. So currently at this point in time, players like Aspilicueta and Rudiger, they will be leaving at the end of the season. Um, let's not forget too that the entire club has been sanctioned, meaning that this is going to affect the youth team and the women's team as well too. And there are some women football players as well who, you know, they're in the final months of their contracts looking to renew. And currently it means at this point in time, they'd also be leaving on a free as well too um 
in the case of fans attending games currently as we know only season ticket holders are allowed to actually attend games so this means that no new tickets can be sold for any remaining games so it's got me thinking when it comes to things like uh, our champions league games or any like knockout round domestic cup games in the future i guess there'll be no fans allowed to be in the stadium will be empty just like how it was during the lockdown days could that benefit the team as it did before who knows I wonder what could happen with that. Maybe the club could just give tickets for free so we can just have that support going and you know have people attending to the stadium and watching the team. Uh, that would be a nice gesture to see, in my opinion. As it would still support a ton of local business in the area. And I think that, you know, we can't forget too that with sanctions like this, it does have like huge ramifications across like, you know, many, many levels. Moving on, and at this point in time, no money can also be earned from any merchandise sales at all so any of you guys who to use my 10% discount codes <laughs> you know might want to put that one on pause for a while put that one on pause and definitely uh, at this point in time the club's mega stores are actually being closed down right now um so nothing's happening there now moving on to the transfer window what's this now going to mean for any players who are hoping to sign i mean we already know reports suggesting that you know before all of this drama that's been happening we have been having talks over the availability of Rafinha and Kunde for this summer. Uh, of course, now everything's been uh, put on hiatus at this point in time. And of course, due to these sanctions, no players can be bought, no players can be sold, and no players can be loaned at this point in time. So I guess this gives an opportunity for us now to recall back a lot of the youth talent that's currently out on loan. I'm looking at players like Broja, Gallagher, Gilmore, Madsen. You know, we have a lot of very good quality that's out there um that we still own that can definitely you know help and benefit the team a lot um you know a part of me maybe cynically right now is thinking you know this is why i've always been like a very like long-term thinking type of guy um because when you just have like really valuable assets and you're letting go for very small amounts of money i, I can't help but feel like that's not going to impact you at some point in the future you know uh, i know I'm not going to touch upon it too long it's just a personal thing but you know when i look at guys like live with Manto, lamsey guy just thinking yo you guys literally uh, have the quality and potential to be you know chelsea first team players you're definitely good enough for the squad and to see them gone for peanuts as well especially when it came to like sending all these young talents to fund them a mega move for a player that doesn't even suit the system it feels like things I've constantly seen in this club for many, many years, to be honest. But uh, of course, you know, it's a big opportunity now for lots of the young talent out on loan. So, I mean, you know, have an opportunity now to see what they can do. More sanctions include a reduction in expenses allowed for matches. Um, this means there's going to be a reduction on travel expenses, you know, catering costs. And currently they're saying that this will be capped up to the tune of 20k. However, other reports have come out suggesting that there is going to be some flexibility in this area. I mean, could that flexibility come from players also putting their own money in to, you know, help, you know, fund the moves for like travel and and then catering and costs like that? I mean, you know, they do have the money to be able to afford something like that. I can't imagine if they're all chipping in together, it's going to be that mad. You know, players throughout the years, you know, put that money in together when they have to. I remember back before we even had something like Cobham. Um, you know, players like your Zolas, your Goody Onsons, many of them, you know, they were all chipping money in together to buy, uh, you know, training ground equipment, for example. So, so there could be an opportunity here. And of course, when it comes to security costs in games as well, that'll be capped up to the tune of half a million pounds. So, you know, matches, of course, are still going to go on. However, any future TV money will be spent only on important operating costs. Um, yeah, it's uh, looking quite peak at this point in time. I'd imagine that we'll have to find some quick ways to get through this. And currently the government don't want Roman to benefit from any ownership of the club whatsoever. Um, he could apply to sell, provided first though that he does not receive any money from the proceeds. So originally Roman's plan to you know uh be the one to choose the next buyer but he's still allowed to do it just means the money earned from the sale can't go to any like charitable foundations that he's looking to set up to help the cause in ukraine instead that money would have to go to the uk government 
but I'd imagine that, um, you know, they'd still maybe donate that money to the humanitarian causes in Ukraine, uh, to be honest with you. But um, the fallout potentially can be mad. I mean, already, our new sponsors in three, they're already reviewing their 40 mil a year shirt deal with us. Um, I guess there's like understandable legal reasons for that. However, you know, it's worrying signs. And of course, in the case of players uh, potentially leaving on freeze, um, you know, Chris and we know will be signing for Barcelona. Looking at Rudiger, who's had offers from many top clubs throughout the world to lose a player like him. You know, his, his experience, his world-class ability, that can really affect us uh, in the future for sure. You're looking at players a club were hoping to offer new deals to, like N'Golo Cantes and Jorginho's, etc, etc. Uh, Aspilicueta as well too. Now is a time that other clubs will probably look to push through, you know, big contracts now to entice our players to leave. And I guess it's worrying signs in the future, to be honest. Um, already Antonio Rudiger's been approached by three clubs. I'd imagine that could probably be like a Paris in Japan, a Bayern Munich, a Real Madrid, it's basically clubs that didn't sign Christensen. Essentially right now, anything is down as long as the club earns no money from anything. The club are looking to hold more talks with the UK government to just find out the full extent of what this uh, sanction and what this license means at this point in time. And I guess ultimately, a lot of this does rest on Roman Abramovich. If Roman was to play the game, if he was to move quickly to work with the government, of course, then, you know, he would have, he would be permitted a special license, of course, to allow this to happen. Of course, though, it depends on Roman. Uh, this is just pure speculation. Moments like this, you talk about, you know, like, you know, positives, negatives, pros, cons, yin, yang, all that type of stuff. Um, if Roman felt like he had, like, strong legal ground to be able to still maintain control of the club, could he look to take the government to court? Possibly, possibly. But of course, that could be potentially detrimental to our club. That could really reduce the value even more. We could really be in a lot of debts even greater. And that might not be necessarily the best play and move to make. So currently, you know, the government, you know, they've indicated that they will allow Roman to sell. It's just the fact that he won't be earning a dime from any sale. So let's see who he decides to sell the club to potentially. We've seen a lot of uh, talks of a lot of investors looking to buy the club. I'd imagine at this point in time, maybe it's looking a lot more lucrative now to be able to buy the football club for maybe a, a much more competitive fee than before. Raman's always stated that, you know, it's never been about the money for Chelsea Football Club and, uh, and football in general. Um, so I guess now he has an opportunity to really prove his words but I mean you know to be honest he has kind of had like a history of his actions reflecting his thoughts I guess I still believe that he's still gonna write off the debts so now I guess it's gonna come down to you know who these potential owners are gonna be and how exactly this whole situation is gonna get played out uh, but I think right now I'm gonna end the video uh, you know apologies for uh, yeah, the video not being of like my normal quality that I like it to be, um, you know what I mean? I'm just not, I'm just not feeling too great to be honest, lads. To be real with you, but uh, hoping I feel better over the next few days, man. I hate when I'm not making videos, uh, but yeah, man, that's it today. So on that note, I'm Nini FC. This is Blue Lines TV. Catch you guys later with some more videos.